What happens to a people on the Kaduna to Abuja train was a disaster for all of us. We need to fight the terrorism with all aspects of our energy, whatever we have. Once this happens to one, it happens to all. He then presented his condolence letter before donating 50 million naira to the Kaduna government for the rehabilitation of the victims. Kaduna state government officials thanked their visitor for this kind gesture. And Governor Nasu Erifa admitted that unlike other leaders, Bola Tinubu is a man full of empathy and a great leader who seeks to unify Nigerians. This gesture by Asiwaju is a show of powerful leadership, empathy, and concern for the lives and property of Nigerians. The government and people of Kaduna State will never forget this gesture. The governor also promised to be part of the political engagement aimed at actualizing the presidential aspiration of Bola Tinubu. And we are aware of your aspiration to be the president of this country. And we look forward to further engagement so that we can progress that project. Outside, a crowd had already gathered to catch a glimpse of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a political leader that is revered, loved and cherished by many. And this was proved to the swelling support base of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in northern Nigeria and puts him in pole position ahead of the 2023. The next stop was at St. Gerard's Hospital, where Bola Tinubu commiserated with the hospital over the loss of one of their doctors, Chinelu Megafo, who died in the train attack. He also visited Sheikh Dahiru Bauchi at his residence before departing Kaduna. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.